All right, so the other section, which I think is important for us to know, is this section here. How do we make this section uh, show the current information, the information that is accurate? So you have these two icons here. Uh, when you click on this, um, these features are going to show up. When you click on that, I'm going to hide them. Same thing on that. And same thing on this section here. Okay. Now when you hover on this one, to tell you that this this is for monthly expenditure and this one is for monthly payroll and this is for monthly revenue so these two they control this and uh, this one controls this one and this controls that so what is going on here is that the let's begin with this one uh, I think we have already interacted with these two uh, on the cash flow because these are the same thing that are here. So you, when you select, for example, May and you say 23 and you click on that. So you have the gross total, which is 370, which is the addition of all these numbers. So that's what is, that's what these are also doing here. So uh, you do that, you're going to have, you have this number showing up. Now, once you put the information here, uh, there's a table that holds that that information so uh, when you run the form you're not going to lose uh, not going to lose the information you have put uh, and hence the, uh, the the numbers that are going to show up here are going to be up in accordance to the information that you have put there okay so that's how these two work they control that they just operate like this and when it comes to uh, the amount of payroll so this one um, is following the debt uh, the debt uh, that you have on the let's use the pay review click on the pay review all right so it's following the debt of the month that you that you paid uh, the people that are working for you okay so like uh, for example um, Let's say, okay, so 16. So on 16, we paid this person twice. Okay, so let's assume that we have two people that we paid. So we paid uh, these two guys here. So this is the date of pay, and that's the date that is showing up there. So if we put a different date here, we say 18, and then we refresh. Um, what will happen is that there won't be any number there so you can always come and put the right the right date and the information that will display here will be will be accurate okay so something with this uh, with this section here uh, so on the monthly expenditure uh, this one follows the debt that uh, that you put over here um, so when you are making a report here for example you're making a report of the uh, of the items that you funded so the debt that you're going to put here is going to uh, show up over there uh, so the the table that is the field that is holding the value for this date is the one that is also holding the value for this one. So uh, just bear in mind that that's what is going on there. Um, so if you select different date here, for example, let's say you say 16. And uh, let's close that. You see the 16 is the one that is showing. Uh, so if you push, uh, you will notice that the the expenditure has disappeared because there is nothing uh, that we have that we funded on the 16 so here we just have 12 so if we select 12 and let's close you see that 12 shows up here and then when you refresh you find that 108 is the number that is showing up here 
So the way the monthly expenditure work is that there's an assumption that we we are making a budget, and then um, and then we have a specific day which we are going to assign funds to those items. Uh, that's why there's only one one debt which is controlling that. Uh, there's no debt range. I know sometimes we make budgets in such a way that we can uh, in within a month uh, we can fund uh, can fund different items on different days. So um, that one is also good to consider, but uh, this program is not made uh, following that pattern. Uh, this one follows the other one where you make a list of items and then and then you find them on the same day. Okay, so that's uh, that's what is going on here.